Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate some really cool new Actobotics parts. These are Actobotics parts number 585554. Um, these are called Channel Slider C. Um, basically they're sold in pairs made out of black Delrin. Same kind of material that some bushings are made out of, some of our sprockets and even our gears. Delrin's really cool because it just has a really low um, uh, friction uh, characteristics and low wear re resistance as well. So. Anyway, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use these in pairs. They're sold in pairs as well, so they can be bolted along a channel. Uh, they can be bolted with any of our various hub mounts, uh, any of our quad mounts, and any number of different parts that actually have the Actobotics pattern in them. So, but I went ahead and uh, built a little device here. You don't necessarily have to use the same three parts. You could have various parts on each, each particular location. But anyway, you can see here it's got the two little notches at the top that helps uh, guides in the channel. And of course you have the round uh, notches at the bottom here that uh, slide along the curved section of the channel. So but anyway, it's really easy to put these on channel. It goes right on like this. Grab up here a little bit. Slide it on. As you can tell we have several different kinds of sliders. You can see they're on the site. Put it on there. And uh, so this is just one, one uh, type of slider. This one's designed for various different uses, or we have sliders for all different uses, basically. So this is a three-sided uh, one. We also have another one that actually runs up on the top. Um, so, but as you can see here, it runs extremely smooth. Um, can take a tremendous amount of load. Uh, this slider is great if you've got a piece of channel uh, going between two particular points and you're building, let's say, a pan and tilt that would, might be hanging below it, or you're building a 3D printer. Um, you can obviously it can be run this direction as well or sideways. Um, and you can you know, go ahead and bolt channel to it and build a channel on channel slider. Or you don't even have to run uh, various hubs uh, inside or quad mounts inside. You can actually bolt these directly to the channel uh, as well and then use our little stainless steel uh, screws and our screw plates inside. So, but the really cool thing about these sliders as well is that you can see here we have some components mounted inside the channel, the screws uh, uh, heads being exposed on the exterior of the channel, but it doesn't affect the slider at all. It will slide right past those components. Even if you have screws in these parts coming back up through with the heads down below, it won't make contact. So that way you can build your drive system, your internal, your belt drive system inside the channel and it won't be affected at all. So the tolerance on these slides is, is, is really tight. You can see here you can't wiggle it back and forth and obviously you can build it much wider. You can build it even narrower this depending on your components that you want to use inside of your slide. Um, but works extremely well, can take a tremendous amount of uh, a load um, and just really cool little device that you can build. Just the possibilities are in. If you want to build a robot and have another channel on top, sliding out with an arm on it to grab something and slide it back, you can easily do that. They can obviously run vertical um, and uh, horizontal as well. So, but anyway, very inexpensive little part. You can find them on uh, servocity.com, uh, new Actobotics part number 585554. Very inexpensive yet, as you can see, extremely versatile. Um, just a great, great, uh, great little uh, uh, component that will really enhance whatever you're trying to build.